Yes, people, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is well. This is going to be an episode of Tottenham Transfer Daily, the show where I try to bring you the latest news, rumours and gossip all around the football club. And boy, there is a lot to get through today. So first things first, make sure you do smash a like and make sure you hit that subscribe button. We've recently just hit 4K and we're already pushing towards 4.1K. So like I said, the support has been overwhelming the last couple of weeks. But listen, let's get straight into it. Alistair Gold yesterday reported in order to allow funds for other moves Tottenham are believed to be trying to engineer a loan move for the winger of an obligation to buy a Dharma Traore. Now players that we're looking at selling are Undombele, Steven Bergwijn, Deli Alli, even La Celso could be listed, um, Matt Doherty as well. There's, there's quite a few players that we're looking at trying to get out of the club. Now the issue I have is you know for a club that earns any more than most teams in the world on a match day, the charge is more than any other team in the Premier League besides Arsenal for a season ticket. And a club that's just put up their prices for alcoholic beverages and food and all these things you buy in stadiums, they've put it up by 7%. I find it very hard that we don't, to believe that we don't have any money. You know, that we've got to sell players before we can buy players. You know, the club are just are looking at spending £1 billion over the next 10 years on building 800 homes in North London, yet we can't spend 20 million on a Dharma Traore. What earns you more money, Daniel Levy? These apartments or these players on the pitch? If we get fourth in the Premier League, Tottenham would earn an excess of over 100 million pounds through TV rights and award money. 100 million pounds. And we're looking at spending money on building 800 homes in North London, which isn't a bad thing, don't get me wrong, get, get, buying, building more homes so people have somewhere to live it is a great thing to do. But in a crisis where we have a very, very poor squad, at best, we probably have two to three players that you could probably say, yeah, certainly we need to keep and we can't upgrade them. And I mean Hugo Lloris, Harry Kane and Schumann. So and everyone else in this squad can be upgraded. Everyone else in this squad. And even Hugo Lloris, Schumann, Son and Harry Kane arguably can be upgraded. You know, and we can't, we have to sell players in order, in order to get funds, to get a loan deal with an obligation to buy for a Dharma Traore. It makes no sense. You know, how are we putting our prices up for alcoholic beverages, beer, you know, wine and all, and all these good stuff and, and food and drink by 7 or 8% and putting our season ticket prices up by 7 or 8% and we don't have any money. You know, we've, we've got, we're looking at loaning a Dharma Traore. It's just, well, yeah. And then another bit of news from Fabrizio Romano. He said, uh, they need to sell and want, and want Undombele, the same with Stephen Bergwijn, to leave. Ajax are interested uh, in Stephen Bergwijn. Keep an eye on Deli Ali, looking for solutions. Swap deal could be a solution. They need to sell and will jump for a centre-back. Conte wants one as soon as possible. And that's what Fabrizio Romano said on Chris Crowlin's uh, YouTube show the other day. Um... A lot of people think it's, a ma think it's a matter of time before the likes of Steven Bergwijn does join Ajax. Um, you know, this, 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 this Steven Bergwijn move could be very, very important for Tottenham because Sport come out with a bit of news yesterday to say that Adama Traore would like to be um, your Usman Dembele replacement at Barcelona. Now, this could be a triangle. Adama Traore goes from Wolves to Barcelona. Steven Bergwijn goes from Tottenham to Ajax. And then... Usman Dembele could potentially leave Tottenham. I'm not saying he could join. Uh, could leave Tottenham. Could leave Barcelona. I'm not saying he's going to join Tottenham, but you know he's got more ability than Steven Bergwijn and Adama Traore. You know the only thing is his wages are so high. I don't think they're going to bring him into the club and say, look, you know, let's pay you more than Harry Kane and Hugo Lloris unless he takes a pay cut. That is the only way I see him joining joining Tottenham. Um, and the news I literally just said a second ago, Adama Traore. Aims to be De uh, Dembele's replacement at Barcelona. The winger wants to return, and Jorge Mendes has been talking to Barca um, for a number of weeks. The operation could be around 20 million, which could leave um, Usman Dembele to leave the club. Fabrizio Romano also said next week is an important, important week for Tottenham transfer news. Keep an eye on Adama Traore and Deli Alli. So, yeah, it, it's, the likelihood is we're going to make a move for Adama Traore this week. We've got 14, 13 days. 13, 14 days left in this transfer window. Um, also, Tottenham Hotspur striking Dylan Markinde, um is having a medical at Blackburn Rovers at Ewood Park. 
I think that's a disgusting bit of business to let him go. I really do. With no buy buy back deal, no sell on release, no sell on clause, no release clause, nothing to be triggered by Tottenham when we're looking to let him go. I think that's a terrible bit of business from Tottenham. Fabrizio Romano was asked yesterday on CBS Sports, um, Fabrizio, if you were Dusan Vlahovic, where would you go and what would you do? And Fabrizio Romano said, I would go to Tottenham. They have a fantastic setup there of Antonio Conte and Paratici, and you could play alongside Harry Kane. So, you know, it's important to point out that he, de he did definitely didn't say it was happening. And it was during a conversation about Arsenal's chances of him getting in January. He said it would be very, very difficult for Arsenal to sign him. And then uh, CBS Sport asked him, where would he go? So, you know, in the summer, Dusan Vlahovic is going to have Juventus after him, Arsenal, Barca, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Man City, Man United, Chelsea, Tottenham. It's going to be very, very, very difficult to get um, Adama Traore to join Tottenham unless we do it this month. And it's going to take a, a record-breaking deal for a player with 12 to 15 months, 12 to 18 months left on his contract. Um, another bit of news that I thought was very, very interesting considering the situation our club is at. And that is Christian Eriksen will return to the Premier League either this tra January transfer window or in the summer. And the only club that are interested in make in signing Christian Eriksen is Brentford as it stands. Tottenham are in no position to go after Christian Eriksen, which I find very bizarre considering, you know, he knows his football club better than most players. You know, he, he, when he was at his peak, he was one of the best players we've had from a creative position, um, creative perspective. You know, we, we still need a creative player. And Christian Eriksen can be that guy, you know. it's I find it very, very difficult, the fact that, you know, Brent, if Brentford signed Christian Eriksen, bearing in mind he's a free transfer, there's no transfer fee involved. It's just agreeing wages. We have to go and get Christian Eriksen. I'm sorry, but we have to. You know, it'd be a fantastic bit of business from um, from us. I, I genuinely do believe that. I do not think that Brentford would be a very good fit for him. Um, yeah, just in Brentford are in talks with former Tottenham Hotspur um, midfielder Christian Eriksen over a return to the league, and that was reported by The Athletic. Um, this is another bit of news as well. Udinese have completed the agreement um, with Arsenal to sign Pablo Mari on loan until June um, deal was set to be signed. And that was reported by DiMaggio. So hang on, Arsenal don't have enough players to play the North London derby, yet they're loaning out Pablo Mari to Udinese. It's just an absolute joke. The way that North London derby was postponed is absolutely embarrassing um, from Arsenal. Um, a lot of people are saying if, if Antonio Conte wants him, bring him in, and that's Dama Traore. Obviously, he scored in the 93rd minute against um, against Southampton in their 3-1 win at the weekend. Um, talk sport drive to a neutral. It looks like Arsenal are running scared of Spurs for some reason. That was another bit of news. Um, as, as the goal has put some thoughts on five things I think Fabio Paratici needs to do for Antonio Conte. And Spurs in the remaining 15 days of the transfer window touching on Traore, Ericsson, Kessie and Dombele. Finances, time to shoot the messenger again. Um, yeah, and then he said, like I just said recently, in order for us to um, to buy Adama Traore, we need to allow funds. Um, yeah, I mean, I find it, like I said, I find it very, um, very difficult to believe that this club needs funds considering we owe more money on a match day than, it, than most teams in Europe. Um, Sky Sports have just reported Brentford are among the clubs that have required about Christian Eriksen's plans to become a free agent. Talks have not gone further than a conversation with his representatives. The player is assessing his future options as he trains with Southern Switzerland, uh, uh, trains in Southern Switzerland. So, and that's coming from Sky Sports. So, lots and lots of news to get through. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Eriksen potentially coming back to the Premier League. Let me know your thoughts below as well that Tottenham have got to allow funds and which selling players in order to buy the likes of Adama Traore or loan Adama Traore. Um, yesterday also did a show with Lee Gunner, so make sure you go over and check that out. Um, Tottenham Transfer Daily will be back tomorrow morning. 
So make sure you are look and loaded. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you've got your notification bell clicked on. Let's try and hit 100 likes on the video. Um, I know you guys can do that. So let's absolutely smash this out of the park. Um, we'll be back later on this week. Obviously, Tottenham play Leicester um, Wednesday. Um, quarter to eight kickoff. So my match reaction will be straight after that around 10, 10, 20. Uh, so make sure you're lock and loaded. And I will see you all very, very soon. Like I said, subscribe on the way out. Smash the like on the way out. And I'll be back tomorrow morning with more transfer news. Thank you all for watching.